Do you have a high school or college student on your family cell phone plan? If so, you need to know why more and more of them are blowing through mom and dad's data plan, resulting in huge monthly bills. In most cases, they don't realize they're doing it. As these college students head back to class here at Northern Kentucky University, many of them are still on their parents' cell plans. If so, watch out for phantom data use where a phone uses up expensive data when you think it's on free Wi-Fi. We had reached our data limit, and we have a very high data limit, and I was very shocked that we could possibly reach that um, because my son is always on Wi-Fi, and he's never using the data. Nick Sachs' teenage son thought he was watching videos on the family's Wi-Fi until the bill arrived. And used, you know, 12 gig of data in about 15 days. Sachs said he called his carrier and found out that when Wi-Fi signals are weak, many phones will jump over to the LTE data network. The phone was always, whether you're on Wi-Fi or not, it was always going to pick whichever was faster. So how can you protect yourself or your kids from going over on your monthly data allowance? Easiest is to switch off cellular data when you're home, but then you have to turn it back on when you go out. So a better option, Sachs says, is to turn off data for just certain applications like watching videos. You can turn off just certain applications. So he could turn off Netflix so it won't use cellular data and, and turn off uh, the music so it won't use cellular data. A lot of parents may soon be thanking him for that tip. The biggest cause of this happening, according to phone blogs, appears to be watching movies on your phone. If the Wi-Fi gets too weak, your phone can switch right over to the data network to keep the movie going. You won't even know what happened until you get the bill. So check those settings. You don't waste your money. Julie